people are hoping to do is they say, well, my collagen in my skin is saggy, so I'm going to get collagen powder, and that will boost up the collagen in my skin. But that's kind of like saying, if I eat chicken breasts, my breasts will get better. Nobody really... <laughs> Best line I've heard today. Best line I've heard today. And so people happen, who are buying this, are they buying a bill of goods? They pretty much are. I mean, it's a poor source of protein, you know, so basically collagen powder is made from the hoofs and hides of pigs and chickens and cows that they, they couldn't sell before. And, uh, I mean, it's like chicken skin. Who doesn't love eating chicken skin? It's my favorite part of the chicken. But the nutrient value is slow, and what happens is your body digests it all and then it makes it, breaks it down to small little uh, amino acids, and then you absorb them, and you use those amino acids wherever you need them. But it's a very expensive source of that, and they're kind of being fooled by thinking the collagen is going to make them younger, better, the fountain of youth, etc. And it's expensive. And so what's the average cost of it for those who are not familiar, familiar with collagen powder? So it can go anywhere from depending, on, you know, for six up to 150 bucks for a small patch of it. It typically costs more than it would cost if you were to buy a good porterhouse steak. But porterhouse steak is a better quality protein. Wow, wow. So why are people buying into this? Why are they falling for it? Is it because of celebrity endorsements? What? Well, I think so. Certainly, all of us want to be beautiful. I mean, you and I, we can't help it. We're too beautiful as it is. But <laughs> they all want to be beautiful, and they want to be young, and this says this supports the skin and makes it more elastic, and it's kind of like, again, it's it's like you're eating chicken breast. It doesn't make your breasts better. You're eating chicken feet. It doesn't make your feet better. It's just a silly, silly thought. But it appeals to that. And then some people will say, oh, my gosh, my hair's never been better. And then I point out to him, your hair is made of keratin, not collagen, completely different molecule. And they say, my nails are better. Again, that's keratin, that's not collagen. So they just don't know the science of it, so they're being fooled by the person who can sell them something. Mm -hmm. And so what would you advise for people who are looking for that fountain of youth, more healthy living, uh, those who really want more collagen, and that will make an actual difference with them? Well, number one, eat a good quality protein. If you're, you know, there are a number of them out there. Hummus, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, meat, if you're not. Uh, number two, make sure you're getting all your vitamins and minerals through your diet. You should be eating lots of the fruits and vegetables and legumes, the good stuff that mom told us we should eat. The stuff, I don't like vegetables, but I tell everybody they have to eat them. And, you know, it's a pretty sensible thing. You're, if your gut works, if you're from your mouth to your nether part works, your body will absorb all the vitamins and minerals and things it needs as long as you don't have a crummy diet. And mm -hmm. if you have a crummy diet, you ought to grow up and eat your vegetables. But for those who are looking for that quick fix and they don't have patience to allow nature to take its course, are there any there options out there for them? No, there isn't a quick fix. I mean, think how fast your nails grow. You trim them, what, once a week or once every three days. Your hair, you get a haircut every... Well, I get a haircut almost every couple of weeks, but you know everybody here, that's how fast they grow. But to think that you drink this magic potion and instantly things are better, they're just fooling themselves. Typically, all they're doing is rehydrating their skin. So if you're dehydrated, and I love, I saw this commercial today when I was in a patient's room, and here's these people showing their skin. It was all wrinkled, and they took this magic powder, and now all of a sudden it's not wrinkled. It's like they just got hydrated. And it, it was just, you know, they just keep hydrated. So... It, it's it's pretty simple. The skin likes vitamin A, vitamin C. The skin likes sunlight up to a very limited extent. And the skin likes hydration. And the skin likes good protein sources. You don't have to spend money on a big tub of collagen when you can just eat better and do the same thing. All right. Dr. Terry Simpson joining us from Santa Barbara, California. We appreciate your advice, and we will take your advice and stay away from that powder. Obviously, you're saying it's not working. You can do it naturally, it just takes time.